Uh, hello, this is a bit of an update <coughs> from the remote control I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm sitting on the ground, but uh, so this uh, th this chair had uh, this seat on it, and I took I, I took the the captain's seat off there and bolted it to the frame here. So now I've got the recliner and and tilt. <clears throat> and then on on this one, I bolted the the boat seat to the frame here. So um, it's on a, a quick release uh, base there. The this, this seat comes off. Well, anyway, it's very hard to get off with one hand anyway. But anyway, you, you push these buttons in and it comes off. There you go. Now that fits underneath the boat. And then this fits underneath the boat as well. So it doesn't take up much room. And then, so, underneath here is the... Now, lots of people have got... Uh, um, remote control wheelchairs, or they've um, made lawnmowers and stuff. Uh, but most of them uh, buy the controls, and then they throw out half the really good stuff. They throw out the the motor driver down there. So what I've done is I've retained the motor driver and the joystick function, and. Um, it, it doesn't ruin the chair. You can still use it as a joystick chair. But I've also got the remote control. So that's the um, that's the Arduino module there that I built up. Um, and it's all got the fail safes and everything all built into it so that the it's the you can't really see them, but that if they if I turn the controls off, so these are on at the moment. If I turn them off, that goes out. And only one LED is lit on there. A bit hard to see, but you've only got one LED lit there. And I'll turn this back on. That comes armed. So the RC is armed. And then I press the button 3 there, and then both LEDs are lit on the Arduino, and we've got a moving chair. Move that, and forward, new, Oop. there we go, and then, yep. Anyway, I'll, um, there, yeah, so this retains the use of, of the uh, power module. And it uh, doesn't damage any of it in any way. It could all be taken apart. <coughs> Just um, unplug it and off it goes again as a regular chair. And um, yeah, so there we go. But, uh, if anyone's got any questions, please type them down below and I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. Oh, the other good thing about this seat is. That, it's on the mount there, and um, I can take it off and put it in the boat. So the idea is that I didn't have to buy an extra seat just for the chair. Uh, I, I could use whatever I had. So that way, you know, when you take this off, it's even thinner and um, stores away really good. That ties with Polycraft. Um, this one's also a bit stronger than the last one. I boosted the amps out of the controller with the software. 
and um, this one easily tows me and the boat uh, so I can drive down and I park it there on the street and then I can hook it up to my car which is my car's a red one there and um, off I go. Alright, thanks for watching, see ya. Okay, so the, the trailer's in the garage now and uh, I'll put the chair into freewheel and then all I've got to do is uh, take the seat off just up the uh, clips there you go and under the back and then put the chair on there we go it's all out of the way and we've got nice more room to get out well when that chair's gone and uh, yeah, I guess I probably should turn it off. Forgot to disconnect it. But anyway, it's all easy to use. And oh, oh. Let's recycle the scooter bits. Um, uh, thanks for watching again. Bye.